Away! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Many of the sheriffs who took office in the frontier towns of the western United States had no experience in preserving law and order. Outlaws and criminals ignored them. But there was one champion of justice in the new territory who did more to safeguard the lives and property of the settlers than all the sheriffs and marshals combined. It was the masked rider of the plains who made the frontier safe for honest men and women. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young... From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! There's going to be trouble! We've got to hurry! Hey, oh, Silver! Away! cow hand employed on the Fraser Ranch had just reined up in front of the ranch house when suddenly from inside a shot rang out. It was followed immediately by three more in rapid succession. What the... Bronk, that means trouble. Uh, stay there, boy. Boss, what was that? You... You killed him. Skunk... Rotten blackmailer. Said I would someday, and I did. Gosh. He's had it coming a hundred times over. But murder. Murder? Who said it was murder? Well, it's... His gun's still in his holster. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, I can fix that. Nobody need know. No. No, I won't. Look, boy. Wait. I... Don't touch him. I know what I'll do. Did anybody else hear them shots, Slim? You see any of the boys? Ain't nobody here. They're all in town. Good. Good. But what are you going to do? I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sure. Sure, I know. Two birds with one stone. Get them both. <laughs> sure. Sure, get them both. <laughs> Slim. Huh? You going to talk? You gonna tell anybody what you seen? Boss, don't aim that gun at me. You're gonna talk? No, boss, no. I won't talk. Have I ever talked? Have I, huh? Have I? Well, couldn't I have talked before this if I'd meant to? Couldn't I? Boss, don't shoot. Yeah, you could have talked, couldn't you? Sure, I could have, sure. But you didn't? No, no, of course I did. Because you never did. You knew if you did, you'd hang for them holdups just as quick as I would. Sure, sure, boss. I know I'd hang. I wouldn't talk. He knew about them holdups. I know, I know. And he was fool enough to think I'd let him go on blackmailing me month after month. Year in and year out. Sure, he was foolish. Slim, somebody else suspects us. Huh? I know, I could tell. Tell from the way he's been acting, the way he's looked at me. Boss, who? Dave Hamlin. Dave? 
But, boss, why didn't you tell me this before? How much does he know? What's he said? You you sure he knows anything? Are, are you, boss? Are you sure? <laughs> it don't matter. But, boss... Quiet. But if he... Shut up. Did you hear me say it don't matter? But it does. You're wrong, Slim. You're wrong. But if he talks... He won't talk. How do you know? Because... Because <laughs> after they've hanged you, you can't talk. Huh? Hanged you? Dave's going to hang... What for? For killing this skunk here. What? <laughs> and Slim. I don't... I'm going to have the best alibi in the world. I'm going to have a fellow that nobody can doubt swear I'm innocent. Me? Don't talk like a nidget. Then... Who? <laughs> the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Scarcely two hours later, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, who were camped a short distance from the Fraser Ranch, heard the sound of approaching hooves and jumped to their feet. Tonto, the horseman. Ah, uh, me here. Coming here. Ah. Uh, there he is. Ride heap fast. Nodding as though he knew he'd find us here. I don't like the looks of this Kimasabi. Watch him. He's up to some trick. Me fix him. Right. Rain up! Hear me? Rain up! Stay right where you are. Well, then, what brought you here? You're the Lone Ranger. How did you know? I saw you. Saw you yesterday. Saw you and your horse and the engine. Knew who you was right away. Learn where we camp by spying on us? Stranger, I didn't spy on you, honestly, didn't. I just seen you ride in this direction, that's all. Then today, I... Say, do I have to talk from back here? Can I ride closer? Come ahead. Get up, boy. Tonto and I have many enemies. We've learned to be careful. Sure, I can save you that. I don't blame you. You started to say that... Oh, yeah. You... you see, when I found they was going to meet at my place and there was likely to be trouble, I thought of you. I thought if I could just find you... One moment. Who was meeting at your place? Dave Hamlin and Leif Shanks. Hamlin. Dave Hamlin. I've heard that name. He's a rancher like me. A fellow about 30 or so. Got a ranch just this side of town. Right, and that's the fellow. And Leif Shanks? No, you wouldn't have been likely to heard of him. He's just a cowhand used to work for Dave. It's been hanging around town lately. He came out. Uh, I told him to come out. Maybe I'd give him a job. And that's clear. Now, what's this about trouble? Them two fellas hate each other like poison. Yes? Leif used to work for Dave till one day Dave called him down in front of the whole crew. Accused him of stealing petty cash out of his strong box. And sacked him right then and there. Leif cleared out, but said next time they met, there'd be gunplay. And Dave's the kind that won't back down. And they'll meet at my place. Couldn't you have prevented the meeting? When I told Leif to drop out, I didn't know Dave was coming. Just learned it when a hand of his stopped by. I see. I suppose you're wondering why I can't keep him from fighting. Well, I'd like to, but my boys are in town, every last one of them. And with a gun, I ain't a match for either Dave or Leif. They'd pay about as much attention to me as they would to my horse. But I tell you, stranger, if it ain't prevented, there'll be a killing to my place as sure as you're born. And I'm to stop it? You can if you're as good with your irons as they say you are. Well, I'll see what I can do. I've never heard of Shanks, but Hamlin's a good man. Tonto, uh, call Scout. We're riding. Here, Scout. Here's the list. Stranger, I'm obliged. Lead the way. <laughs> sure. Yep. Get up, boy. Come on. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come on, old fellow. In spite of the fact that most of his story was pure falsehood, Fraser had been telling the truth when he claimed that he expected Dave Hamlin to call at his ranch. Four hours after the shooting, Dave rode up and Slim called out a greeting. Hi there, Dave. Hello, Slim. Oh, boy. Oh, oh there. Light and set. <coughs> Thanks. Where's your boss? Mr. Fraser? Oh, he'll be along pretty quick. No, he's expecting you? Uh-huh. Well, I'll wait inside. Hey, hey, no. Huh? Uh, sit down here, huh? I ain't supposed to go inside unless the boss is there, and I'd like company. <laughs> Come on, sit. <laughs> sure, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Where'd Fraser go? Why, well, I don't rightly know. He didn't say. He just said you'd be along, and if he got here before he was back, to tell you to wait. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? I'll wait. What's the matter? Something on your mind? If I have, it's personal. 
between your boss and me. Oh, well, excuse it. I didn't mean to poke my nose where it didn't belong. <laughs> nice day, huh? Yeah. Hey, Dave, don't they claim you're a pretty good shot? I don't know why. Oh, just heard some of the boys talking, and I got to wonder just how good you really was, that's all. <laughs> you figure you could um, hit that snubbing post from here? <laughs> Easy. Well, how about that sapling on beyond? Hit that? I reckon so. What are you trying to do, Slim? Start a contest? <laughs> well, I did have it in mind as well to try you out. Want me to prove I can hit that sapling, huh? Would you? Sure, why not? Just a second. Well, well, doggone. <laughs> How's that? You hit it. Yeah, you think I would? Why, us boys were sitting here one day shooting for that sapling for over an hour, and we never even skun it. <laughs> Dave, you're a gun hand. I reckon to make out. You can put your gun back if you want to. You don't have to prove nothing more to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, look there, Dave. Huh? Top of the hill there. I reckon that's a boss now. Yeah, it must be. Who's that with him? I don't know. Now, if you've had your fill looking up there, Dave, suppose you look here. What the... You're plenty slick with an eye in, mister, but yours is in your holster and mine ain't. Reach and keep reaching. Slim, you going crazy? Uh-uh. <laughs> I just caught me a killer. The Lone Ranger was riding down the long slope of the hill that led to Fraser's ranch house. He caught sight of the two figures standing out in front. Fraser, eh? what's happened there? Why, Gully Slim's got the drop on someone. Slim? One of my boys. Must have got back to town while I was gone. Well, that's Dave Hamlin there. What in blazes is wrong? There, trouble. Get him up, Scout. Get, Get him, him there, up, boy. Get Come on, Come on, Come Come on old fellow. Get along. Get along. Come on. Slim! Hi, Slim, what's wrong? What do got, boss? What's going on there? He's been a killer. Oh, oh, there's oh, 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 you too, Dave. March. Stop going and to shut the... your mouth. Come on. But Slim, what happened? Dave Shanks showed up while you was gone. He did. This pole cat threw down on him. Here's the way it ended up. Kill. It's a frame up. I never even knew Leif was here. Yes, man, I don't know who you are, but if you don't want to see a man hung for something he never done, you got to believe me. you got to give me a chance. Don't pay any attention to him, stranger. I caught him in the act. He's been lying like this ever since. And if you don't think he's guilty, just look at his gun. You tricked me into firing. See, he's got an answer for everything. Let me have his gun. Uh, sure. Here you are. It's been fired recently. One shell gone. But, mister, I'll tell you that... Dave, it ain't got... no use. Reckon you're caught dead to rights. I was afraid of something like this. Recollect, stranger? Recollect my telling you there'd be gunplay when these gents met? I remember. But I you tell better you... save your breath for your trial, Dave. You'll need it. You're a stranger. Well? You think you can hold this skunk here till I ride to town and come back with the sheriff? I could. Fine. The sooner the law gets here, the better. You stay and keep an eye on him too, Slim. Sure will, boss. All right, Slim. You can put your gun away. You've done your share. Thanks. I ain't ashamed to admit I'm glad you fellas got here. Being alone with a killer ain't my idea of fun. Well, you'll see what we can do about that. And Dave, huh? that gray outside your horse? Yeah. And suppose you get on it. Tonto, uh, go with Dave. Uh, Return uh, to our uh, camp, pack our things, and move them to where we camped the night before last. When I'm through here, I'll meet you there. Uh, Tonto, do it. What, what did you say? Go ahead, Dave. You're not a prisoner. Hey, hold on. What do you think you're up to? You heard me. You're letting him go free? Exactly. But, but you can't. He's a killer, I tell you. He's got to stay here till the boss comes back with the sheriff. He can't go. By thunder, I won't let him. I won't. Won't you? That draw. All right, Dave. Quickly, on your way. Stranger, outlaw or not, I like your style. Engine, come on. Uh, Mister. Yes? Wait till the sheriff gets here. I'll tell him what you've done. I'll There'll fix... be no need. I'll save you the trouble. Huh? I'll tell the sheriff myself. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When Fraser reached town and told the sheriff that there had been a murder at his ranch and that the murderer was being held there for arrest, the lawman and one of his deputies rode back with the rancher. Look, Fraser, we'll be to your place pretty quick. But I'm wondering if you'll answer me some questions before we get there. Well, sure, Sheriff. What do you want to ask? Well, my deputy here mentioned a couple of times that he'd noticed you and Leif weren't getting along so friendly. Ain't that so, deputy? Well, that's what I've seen. That's what I told you, Sheriff. Well, I... Mind explaining, Fraser? Well, we did have words a couple of times. Uh-huh. What over? Oh, nothing in particular. He just wasn't the kind of hombre I'd get along with. We never met up, but what we sort of rubbed each other the wrong way. Though, as a matter of fact... Yeah? Well, as a matter of fact, I was kind of ashamed about the way I'd acted toward him. Like I said, there were no sense to it. I was hoping maybe we could straighten things out. That's why he rode out. I was going to give him a job. Uh-huh. What'd you want to know for? Say, you weren't figuring that maybe well, I had... there's no need to get upset. You know my job calls for suspicion in everybody until I get the right. But Slim was just the same as there when Dave done it. Uh-huh, but Slim works for you. Yeah, that's so. I don't get the notion I'm blaming you for doing your duty, Sheriff. <laughs> but I got a fella can swear I couldn't have done it that you'll have to believe. That's so? This masked man I said stayed for Slim. Mm-hmm. I was wondering about that, hombre. <laughs> You know who he is? No, but I'll find out. Not less than he wants you to. No? Sheriff, that masked man's the Lone Ranger. What's that? Well, I'll be switched. You know that for a fact? That's him, all right. His part, that redskin they call Tano, is with him. And if you've got any doubts, just take a look at them horses they're riding when we get there. Especially the masked fellas. If you've ever seen its beat, I'll eat my Stetson. Got silver shoes, too, just like folks say. The Lone Ranger. And he'll give you an alibi? Yep. <laughs> You won't doubt his word, will you? Do I look like that kind of a fool? Gosh, Fraser, I'm sorry if what I've said made you think I really figure you might have done it. I had to ask them questions is all. I didn't oh, mean... get it, Sheriff. No hard feelings. There, take a look. That's the masked man's horse right there by the porch. Gosh, he's a dandy. Say, I'd give ten years of my life to own him. That silver, sure enough. There just couldn't be two like him. <laughs> but where's the engine horse? Rides a paint, don't he? Eh? You say it's gone. Thought you said Toto was along. He was. Then where could oh, he be? Oh, he's likely just rode off someplace. It don't matter. Wouldn't take him and the masked fellow to hold Dave. Well, here we are. Cool there. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, there. Oh. Yeah. They're inside, I reckon. Slim, hi, Slim. You and the masked man bring Dave out here. Boss. Where's Dave? Boss, that's what I wanted to tell you. This hombre let him go. What, sir? Dave's gone? Why? Yes, I let him go. What, you? Because he was innocent. Innocent? I remain for just one reason, Fraser. Eh? To tell you that when you attempted to trick me into providing you with an alibi, it was the biggest mistake you ever made. Here, Silver. What are you talking about? I don't savvy. I believe you understand what I mean. If you don't, think it over. Hold on, yeah. mister. I aim to ask you some questions. Some other time. But I, I tell don't you hold to... me now at your own risk. Come on, Silver. Hey, stop there. Hey, put down that gun. You idiot to uh, fire on that fellow? But he's escaping. And uh, neither you nor me could stop him. I don't see. I don't understand. Hmm. There's just one thing I savvy about this. What's that? That there goes your alibi. <laughs> The Lone Ranger raced across country to the camp where he promised to meet Dave Hamlin and Tonto. When he drew rein... Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh. We've been waiting for you. What happened after me and Tonto left? What did you stay for? I remained to let Fraser know his trick hadn't worked. It was a trick, but how'd you know it? Fraser made several mistakes. Yeah? Tonto will remember when Fraser came to a rather camp, he started to say that Leif was at his ranch house. Then hurriedly changed it to say that he was expecting Leif to arrive. Not right. You mean Leif had been to Fraser's place even before Fraser seen you? Yes. And that means that either Slim or Fraser could have killed Leif. All the time I thought it must have been Slim. That's exactly what it means. It's our job to find out which is guilty and prove it. Yeah. But you must have had something more than just that one slip of Fraser's to go on, didn't you? I mean, just him saying that about Leif wasn't enough to make you suspicious, was it? There were several things. They handled the whole affair clumsily. How? 
They made the biggest mistake when they forgot how many shots had been fired at Leif. There were at least three or four. And yet they attempted to pin the killing on you when only one chamber of your revolver was empty. By thunder, that's so, and I never even thought of it. Nor did they. Slim made another mistake when he claimed that you had lied to him about your guilt. If you were guilty, it'd be logical for you to lie to Tato and me, who hadn't been present and couldn't be certain you were lying. But why would you waste time telling that story to a man who'd seen you kill Leif? Well, there just wouldn't have been any sense to it. Right. Well, they sure did blunder. The killing must have been unexpected. They didn't have time to consider everything thoroughly. It's stranger. Yes? Why would either one of them kill Leif? That's what I can't figure out. You think it was just that they had words and went for their irons? Possibly. I but know. I suspect it goes beyond that. Huh? Tato and I came to this district because we heard there had been a number of unexplained holdups. Well, there's been a plenty. We've been investigating. Our investigation's important toward Fraser. He's responsible? I think it's almost certain. Though, again, there's no real proof. Doggone it. If you could just pin them holdups on the skunk, then you'd have... I him don't ar- think it'll be necessary now. No? Well, how come? He's left himself open to a far more serious charge. Either that of murder or accessory to murder. Oh, but you said that... But they... I had no proof of that either. Yes, so. I have no proof, but I have a way to get it. You have? And if you're acquainted with a fellow I passed as I rode here, we can put my plan to the test. Who's that? A peddler I saw driving a wagon on the North Trail. A red wagon? Yes. Well, that's old Josh Lemke. Sure I know him. Well? Your dog going right. I always buy something from old Josh. Him and me are right good friends. Good enough friends so he'd help you prove your innocence? Well, yes, I think so. Then get to the saddle. We're riding again. Huh? Yep. Hurry. We want to catch Josh before he gets to Fraser's place. Oh, sure. Steady there, boy. Me riding too? No, Tyler. You'll stay here. Uh, but there'll be work for you to do later. Ready, Dave? Yeah, you bet. Then let's go. Come on, Silver. Get up, boy. Get up. Come on, old fellow. Come on. And then skunks are trying to frame you, Davy. That's right, Josh. And this year, mess man's on your side? He is. Well, then all he's got to do is tell me what he's got in mind, and I'll back his play, whatever it is. And glad to get the chance. Well, thanks, Josh. I won't forget it. Good. Now, Dave. Yeah? Go back to camp. Join Tato. And tell him to follow the orders I've given you. Right away. And hope for the best. With you handling things, friend, I don't need to hope. I know things are going to turn out the way they should. Get up there. Get up, boy. All right, Josh. Get your wagon started. I'll explain your part as we ride. Uh-huh. Get up, fella. Get up. Get along with you there. Come, Come on, Silver. Come on, Just we get to the bridge. The sheriff and his deputy had left the ranch house, and Fraser and Slim were alone in the living room. Slim, sit down. Boss, what are you so worried about? What am I worried about? You fool, do you know what's happened? Sure, Dave got away. The sheriff will get him again. He can't hide out for long. I'll yeah, be... forget about Dave. But what if... Can't he... you see that I went to all the trouble convincing the sheriff the masked hombre was the lone ranger? And when I get him convinced, the masked fella double-crosses me? He double-crosses you. Well, it seems to Shut me. up! I'm not asking how it seems to you. What I have to figure out now is what to do. There ain't nothing to do but sit tight. But the masked man, the same as threatened yeah, me. He's bluffing, that's all. Just bluffing. Yeah? Well, he must have had something to go on. Why? If he didn't, how'd he ever guess Dave didn't shoot Leaf? Gosh, I don't know. He must have noticed something wrong. Yeah. And if he noticed something, what's to stop the sheriff from seeing the same? The sheriff? <laughs> don't let him worry you. Didn't he poke around here most of the afternoon? <laughs> Why, if you'd have seen anything, he'd have told you. Now, if that old idiot would have to have more savvy than I ever gave him credit for, before it'd bother me any. Yeah. I still want to know what it was that mask fella seen. Well, I... What the... A mask man. Perhaps I saw nothing. What do you want? Maybe I knew Dave wasn't guilty because I'd had the word of an eyewitness to the killing. What's that? Josh, get in here. Josh, let me see. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. It ain't none of my business. Just let me go. Let me go, doggone it. Josh, you're going to tell what you saw here or go to jail. Listen, mister, I didn't oh. see... But I tell you... Hey, I... what's Josh got to do with this? Let him speak for himself. Mister, look, I, I just happened to be here. I wasn't sneaking around or anything. I don't want to get in trouble. 
if you just let me clear out like I'd aim to do, I'd be... If I had, an innocent man would have been hanged. Hey, what kind of a stunt is this? Do you think... Quiet. But you can't... Slim, you and Fraser will stand side by side there in front of that table. What's the idea? One of you is guilty of Leif's murder. Josh is going to point out the guilty man whether he wants to or not. They're going to stand side by side so he can get a good look at you. And tell which is guilty without the possibility of making a mistake. Wait, no. Line up there. He he couldn't have been here. He couldn't have seen anything. I I know he couldn't. Will you still insist on that if he does point out the one who killed Leif? He he can't. But he will. All right, Josh. There they are. Now, which one is it? Please, mister, don't make me... It just means trouble, and I don't want no trouble. You have my word. You'll be protected. But please, I don't... Quickly, man, point him out. It it was... Well? It was that and... Blast you for a spy and sneak a polecat out, so you... Stop that gun. You will get me and take it. Tell the sheriff. Dave, get that man. Well, get there. Ice your hands. The law. We were waiting outside, Mass Man. We heard the whole thing. Josh, you played your parts well. He didn't do so bad, did he? Put enough so that this skunk will hang and slim with him for helping. You mean you just tricked me? <laughs> I sure did, Fraser. I wasn't around here when you shot Leif. I'd never seen a thing. But, but you pointed right at me. If you hadn't seen it... How'd you know which one of us it was? <laughs> Fraser, huh? that's the trouble with having a guilty conscience. It makes you give yourself away. Josh didn't point it. He did. I know he did. No, 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 I never. But I saw I you. I only done like the masked man said. He made you stand close together, and I pointed between you. But you <laughs> knew you was guilty, so you thought Josh was pointing at you. And gave yourself away. The masked man done this. Uh-huh. And there he goes. Come on, The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. (laughs) 